Well, 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 Get to the video. At some stage as a kid, odds are you've daydreamed about having superpowers. Whether it's being able to fly, having super strength, or being able to shoot lasers. Before we get to the video, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. If you had to choose one superpower, one superpower, what would you choose? Leave that in the comment before you answer this. Mine would be teleportation. And why? beams out of your hands why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary what if i told you that superpowers weren't just for the comics ready to meet these gifted Bro, people with superhuman abilities let's get it on slavisa pashkic those familiar with the Spider-Man comics would know one of his arch nemeses, what? Electro, the master of electricity well serbian slavisa pashkic isn't called the battery man for nothing and sure gives Electro a run for his money. This is a man who makes a living manipulating current, whether it be conducting it or storing the charge in his unusual body. Let's take a little look at some of his accomplishments and you be the judge. He has the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to heat up a cup of water, getting it up to boiling point by channeling 20,000 volts for a remarkable 1 minute 37 seconds. Not only that, but he's also more than capable of powering light bulbs and cooking sausages with his bare hands. He can even light a fuel-soaked cotton wool ball from his scalp by sparking electricity from it but this is where it gets really crazy his next record will involve charging up on a million volt generator and shooting sparks out of his hands shake his hand at your own how do you find this out like were you one of them kids who was crawling and then you just accidentally licked the, the wall socket or put a, a fork in it and, you, and besides if you did this and start touching shit? What, 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 but what? How you find this out? Risk, GLT Raj. In the movies, often the hero's superpowers are revealed to them during a time of turmoil or need. Jyoti Raj was no different, initially climbing up a large rock to end his life before feeling a jolt of inspiration. Climbing wouldn't be how he took his life, climbing would be how he lived it. In his native India, Jyoti is known as the Indian Spider-Man. He originally learned to climb from watching monkeys, and on that fateful day that almost proved his doom, he realized another thing. He had no fear of heights whatsoever. There are many daredevils in the world that perform death-defying Stupid, stupid, bro. And, and I hate, I hate to be the one. Elfit, I am the one. All right. People who die in these things, bro. Rest, rest in peace, man. But it is survival of the fittest, man. If you are gonna go out there and and do some daredevil stuff like this, bro. All right. I don't think you deserve a chance to <laughs> have offspring. <laughs> like, like what, 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 I'm, what I'm saying is like, bro, in the wilderness, right? If you go to the forest, right? All right. And if you see this baboon just never crawl on a tree, right? Because something probably happened to his leg or whatever it is. All right. Hey, be real, bro. A, a leopard come and get that boy. He's not going to be able to reproduce no more, bro. But the lepers who, who fat, I mean, the, the, the uh, apes and things like that, the baboons who, who ate. Let me, let me just shut the hell up, bro. Just. Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. stunts climbing up buildings and monuments but GLT is different what sets him apart from his peers is that he refuses to wear a protective harness he's so confident he won't fall that he says he just doesn't need one the only thing he needs to scale up the wall of a building is his $200 specialist climbing shoes and a bag of chalk for gripping smooth surfaces hey. with his hands 
Asian Hulk. Boy, literally got Often referred goat to toes, as the Asian bro. Hulk, martial artist Zheng Shizu like has a rare condition like this, known as CIP, able to or congenital like insensitivity to pain. In short, he's able to do some pretty remarkable things without feeling the pain afterwards. Normally, karate chopping a rock in two would be something 99% of the world's population wouldn't consider, but not this guy. Heck, he'll even pass you a slice of durian after he's cracked open its extremely spiky outer shell. I Likewise, busting before. open metal pipes with his shin in brutal kicks, even able to bend a thick wrench under the sheer force and ferocity of his blows. Push-ups using just two fingers? Too easy. Doing push-ups while balancing his entire body on three beer bottles? Much harder. Popping cable ties with just a flex of his muscles? Now we're getting into true Hulk territory. Whether it's food, tools, or the human body, you name it, he'll break it. Norman Gary Ant-Man and the Wasp can control insects thanks to some clever telepathic gadgetry in their helmets. But Norman Gary doesn't need gimmicks or technology. He's the real deal. He's regarded as the foremost expert on bees by other bee experts. There's nothing he doesn't know about his pollinator pals and has made it his life's work. He wows audiences by gently ushering over 100,000 bees onto his body without suffering a single sting. More amazingly is his ability to somehow communicate with the swarm and get them to bend to his will. Will. His greatest achievement was to direct a single bee to follow a precise path, making several 90-degree turns before moving under the collar of Agent Scully during the filming of an X-Files episode. Nor Bro, what? The f what? He was able to do this with a bit of bee psychology, as well as the queen bee pheromone formula of his own creation. Christina Zan- I don't believe you this. What? A bee whisperer, bro? Oh, poor Aquaman. As far as superpowers go, the ability to talk to fish is about as useful as only being able this to fly crazy, two seconds bro. at a time. Despite this, Christina Zanato is showing us that having a connection with sharks is a pretty handy superpower to have. She's been diving in the Bahamas for over a quarter of a century and knows the resident Caribbean reef sharks like the back of her hand. And mind you, that's yet to be bitten. She thinks of them as her babies. And just like any mother, she's fiercely protective when her children are in pain. She's removed hundreds of hooks from the mouths of her beloved man eaters over the years, not balking once to reach her hand deep within their multi-road serrated tooth mouths. Amazingly, the sharks remain super calm and relaxed while Christina goes about her unorthodox dental work. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see that iron suit. I see that iron suit, man. That thing, boy, that thing about 50 pound worth of iron to her, man. Uh-huh. Get your mind right. Yeah, you come down here and chill all you want to, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know I pay bills down here. You know what I mean? So when if you every time pay these bills, you know, and you know my stomach start growling. Just know if you ain't got no fish down here either to keep me tame. Just know I'm taking some 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 some, some form of payment from your body, and that's gonna be a ligament. So what you doing right now, coming out here with this iron suit? That means that you respecting my home. You know, whenever I open my door up and let you in, you learn to put them house shoes outside the door and bring me my fish. Nigga. <laughs> Work. If this isn't proof she can talk to fish, then I don't know what is. Master Enguiho. <laughs> They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but what about the finger? My question is, what the hell? Kung Fu master Ho Eng Hui has spent his entire life training his entire being, his body, his breath, and his mind to concentrate into a single, awesomely powerful finger. Yeah! Iron Fist needed iron fists, but Hui only required one digit. The unit of measurement for finger strength seems to be the hump. Have y'all ever watched Gundam Ring? Wing. Look! Gundam Wing. Alright? This remind me of the Work! 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 Burning! Burning! Erupting! Yeah, I was going to wing now. To know what I'm talking about. about. <sighs> A 
crumbled coconut. We is the Guinness World Record for cracking four a lot of anime like that was and is so. even able to pierce a much harder green coconut and drink the juice. It's like having your own built-in cocktail maker. That's crazy. He performs on the streets of Malaysia where tourists exchange a coin in order to see how a man can feed his family using just one finger. He began training his fearsome appendage at the age of 17, man. where he would jab his finger into palm trees for hours on end. Best to stay on his good side though, as this mangled, gnarly looking figure could quite possibly go through the bone of a human skull. Steel Man of India Strength isn't just a measure of how much weight you can lift in the gym. There's no point being strong if you're not durable at the same time. Amandeep Singh is a bit like an Indian Superman. He has the muscles and the toughness to match. His lifelong dream is to become the world's strongest man, except he's going about it a little differently than other people. Sure, there's the obligatory lifting. Bro. No. <laughs> no. Man, it's... This is gonna be the thumbnail right here, man. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Except he's going. Son, where'd you find this? Boy! Going about it a little differently than other people. Sure, there's the obligatory lifting up of a motorcycle above his head and pulling cars packed full of people, that kind of thing, but that's boring. This is a guy who can lift a fully grown man with just his teeth. A day's training for this real life man of steel involves being hit with planks of wood, oh, 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 planks oh, 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 of you steel, be man and sledgehammers steel. by his closest buddies. Then for a bro, warm down, are... having them drive their this cars dude crazy. Over his body over and over. Oh my again. gosh, bro! Amandeep claims that he doesn't feel any pain thanks to a lifetime practicing seek martial arts which condition both the body and the mind whatever he's doing it's obviously working dimitri politov it's easy to draw similarities between dimitri politov you don't see that on bro dt walmart tims too and the mind whatever he's doing <laughs> those nails bro oh my god it's bro. obviously working oh, dimitri politov man. It's easy to draw similarities between Dmitry Politov and a daredevil when you see exactly what kind of acrobatic stunts this guy is capable of. He's a performer in the Cirque du Soleil who knows all too well the stunts he gets up to when he's bored or in front of a camera. Recently while traveling, they expressly forbid him from doing anything crazy and luckily for us, he didn't listen. Amazingly, he's able to reach over a railing 100 feet off the ground into a one-armed handstand just by gripping the railing with his other hand and extending his entire body over the sheer drop below making a mockery of what we think the human body is capable of. Once you see this Russian powerhouse on a pole, it's a different story. He's able to perch himself on top with just a single hand and foot before sliding down and lifting his entire body parallel to the ground. Now that's something I didn't see coming. Lucas Novotny the Marvel Cinematic Universe may have Hawkeye, but in the real world, we have Lucas Novotny. It's hard enough to hit the bullseye on a target, but almost impossible to nail accurate shots over and over as you ride past, galloping on horseback at speed. This is his superpower. Whether it's keen eyesight, incredible reflexes, That's or fire. some sort of That's immeasurable fire. Fire. talent and affinity for That's archery, fire, we're pretty bro. sure this guy has it. Over history, most armies had riders on horseback to support their ground troops, but it's a bit of a lost art form these days. Seeing Lucas hit a moving target coming from the opposite direction oh, is man. proof that he gets top honors as the world's best at what he does. He may not have bulging bro, muscular This arms is like or RuneScape level 99 archery, bro. This dude, bro. Oh, man. Chiseled abs, but one thing's for sure. This man has the skills to earn himself that matching purple mask and like Reliotard. Leandro Granado. Cyclops may be able to blast lasers from his eyes, but can he paint a picture? No, but he sure can destroy walls and vaporize bad guys. Leandro Granado is proof that beauty isn't in the eye of the holder, but what gets squirted out of it. To create these truly one-of-a-kind masterpieces, he inhales a mixture of ink paint diluted with saline solution up his nose and uses some pretty insane pressure blasted through his eustachian tube to spray a canvas in true style. When he was a kid, he realized his freakish ability and used it to entertain his solution up his nose and uses some pretty insane pressure blasted through his eustachian tube to spray a canvas in true style. When he was a kid, he realized his 
how, where do you start as a kid? What made you just want to put some type of solution up your nose to see if it could come out of your eyes? Like where, like, like where, where is the, the starting point before we get to the end? Like with the guy with the electricity superpower. Wait, what? Freakish ability and used it to entertain his schoolmates. Now he makes a living from his rather unique ability. Remember, art doesn't have to be good for it to be appreciated, or better yet, valuable. Still, it would be better if Leandro could squirt something cooler. I'm not buying that art, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all want to see some Molito come? Bro, look at this dude. I'm going back here, man. Look at this dude, bro. Look at this, bro. How are we just going on this? Dang!